Happy Wednesday, boxers. I'm Chris McCulloch, bringing you the news, eventually, with BoxerCast. Need some more lovin' in your life? You need to get out and enjoy the weather. On March 23rd, men and women's tennis shut out Treasure Valley Community College and baseball won one game of their doubleheader against Claremont Mud Ships. On March 24th, baseball yet again beat Claremont Mud Ships 5-3. On March 25th, women's tennis had another shutout and baseball beat Whittier 8-3. On March 26th, men's tennis beat Caltech 8-1. On March 27th, women's tennis beat Biola 6-3 and women's lacrosse beat MIT 15-7. On March 28th, we did not win. On March 29th, softball won both games in their doubleheader against George Fox. Lastly, on March 30th, men's track and field finished 4th out of 8th at the Peyton Scoring Meet in Tacoma, Washington, while women's track and field finished 4th out of 9th. I hope you all get your pets spayed or neutered. Are you concerned about an STI? Well, advising starts today, so look ahead and plan your classes for next school year. Did you know astronauts can travel from Earth to the International Space Station in only six hours? Today is the last day to submit your presentation proposal for the October 2013 Interdisciplinary Conference on Gender, Sexuality, and the Body. Untenured faculty, grad students, and Advanced undergraduate students are encouraged to submit a proposal with the presentation's title, an abstract of no more than 250 words, and a brief on the presentation format. Again, today is the last day to submit a proposal, and all proposals should be emailed to Professor Whitehead. Looking forward to October. Have you been battling with crippling obsessive corgi fascination disorder? This Friday is your chance to attend the First Avenue Career Expo. The expo is the last and largest recruiting event this year. Recruiters are looking to fill full-time, entry-level positions, internships, and summer jobs. The expo runs from 9.30 to 3 p.m. at the Child Center at University of Portland, and shuttle buses are available. To register for this kicking rad career expo, visit Chapman Hall at the Career Development Center, or go online to olapcfirstavenue.org. Registration costs $10, but will be reimbursed by the CDC. I set fires to feel joy. Glee star Corey Monteith has checked himself into rehab for unspecified substance abuse issues. But it's not his first time. Monteith has struggled with drugs for some time, first getting sober after his family staged an intervention when he was 19. This time, girlfriend and castmate Leah Michelle stands behind him as he works on cleaning himself up. Did you know that airplane terminals smell like baked tarmac and lost luggage? Neither did I until Google knows. A breathtaking new technology revealed by Google just today allows you to search based on everyone's third favorite sense, smell. By intersecting photons with infrasound waves, Google knows temporarily aligns molecules to emulate a particular scent. Some of the most popular smells are stale beer, sticky wooden floors in the morning after a frat party, old hotel room, air freshener and scandal, and April Fool's Day. Immature and cheesy with a quick, bright finish. The weather today might feel like raining, with a high of 63 degrees and a low of 41. Thanks for tuning in, boxers. I've been Chris McHewlett. I've been Douglas Bender. And I've been Brie Castellini. Bringing you the news first-ish with BoxerCast. Oh, and happy, happy April, April Fool's, Fool's Day! Day. Do the Harlem shit.